August 23rd, 2005. Hurricane Katrina started to form over the Bahamas, and nothing but destruction, death, and tragedy lied ahead. While this hurricane brought obliteration in many places, we remember it most for its effects on the city of New Orleans. August 29th, 2005, 6.10 a.m. The hurricane hits New Orleans. When the storm withdrew, a staggering number was released. $81 billion in estimated property damage. While this may be one of the darkest natural disasters in U.S. history, light did emerge. The tragedy brought the world together in an effort to rebuild and overcome the devastation. Offers from all around the world came in, in many forms, as the various countries did whatever they possibly could to help. In total, 77 aid offers were made. Countries offered money, oil, medical staff, rescue teams, food, clean water, pumps, and much more to aid these suffering people. One of the most notable offers was from Kuwait for $100 million in cash and $400 million in oil. Israel welcomed college students to finish their studies at Israeli universities. Countries such as Germany, France, Canada, and Japan made very generous donations as well. However, due to the inefficiency of our government and bureaucratic red tape, 54 of the 77 offers were rejected. As New Orleans and the Gulf Coast desperately sought to survive after Katrina, help, help, help. a watching and shocked world lined up to help. Afghanistan pledged $100,000. Singaporeans are flying rescue missions. Even tsunami-ravaged Sri Lanka pledged $25,000, all it could afford. The offers of foreign aid added up to $854 million, but according to today's Washington Post, only $40 million has been used so far. The incompetence and the malfeasance really are, are mind-blowing. Nonetheless, the immensely generous donations from all these allies did help to put relief efforts on the right track so that the victims of this hurricane could rebuild their lives.